Hello everybody, welcome back to Bilatis. We've been making a lot of progress, but it's been a couple of days, so I've got a fresh pair of eyeballs, but I don't really know where we left off. So, can I make any more progress towards this last portal I've not seen yet? Well, I know what the arrow means, or at least I think I do. Um, but... How could I get this to be a group of five? Like that. Honestly, that wasn't quite what I was going for, but the four goes one, two, three, and four. The five goes one, two, three, four, and five. Then this is horseshoe around, so I'm pretty happy with that. Premonition. Is this through the portal? No, this is one more. We've got so many arrows, and it's prompting me to try the solution. So, that's going to be trickier, I think. Yeah, I don't really know where the logic is to start here. So, I'm not going to try right now. I'm going to wait until more of those puzzles crop up. Ramifications still just feels like an incredibly difficult puzzle for where it is. How do I break this up differently? Honestly. Yeah, I still don't know what I'm doing with that. So that's the bottom right corner explored a little. Opposites. Well, we ended up on two horned puzzles here. Step up one. What can we do with this? We've got positives, negatives, and a bunch of fives. I want to like this, but I can't then separate that into a pair by doing this. That isolates the two. I don't remember this song playing ever. But hey, it's a nice change of pace. How can we get these fives into a group? This seems like a problem. Can't do this because it keeps this as one giant contiguous region. This loop of fives feels like it wants something like this done with it. But that doesn't quite work for having two pluses and one minus here. Because this group of five is fine. This positive negative is fine. This positive negative is fine. But I can't get this to be in the same region as this. Okay, why doesn't this work? The two. The two is highlighted incorrectly. I don't mind this staircase of the five but it doesn't work does it oh god and then there's this one here arrows ahead okay well I understand arrows a bit more so perhaps we can do eyes and arrows here except the arrows are pointing at each other which <laughs> seems terrifying Right. Well, 
we know that one of these combinations is true. Is that where we start? If it were this, then this six in the bottom right corner would need to get into a six large zone. So right now is this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, which is too large. Is that how that works? The double arrow here is throwing me off slightly. We can't have two in this column. Perhaps we focus on the eyes first. There's only one in this whole column. So it might be that this is true and then the one has to go somewhere else down here. This is three, which is not correct. This is one. So the eyes are all happy here. But the sixes clearly are not. Now I don't know what to do with these arrows that face each other. And that is everything in this corner. So working our way up, we have this section. We're staying on the very top line. We get into here. Okay. Hexagons and eyes. Hexagons are valid if they are in a shape that has six sides. So this si this shape here, one on the left, one on the top. Uh, so let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. One left, one top, two lower, two right makes six. But this only wants one. This only wants one. And this wants two. Shapes like this aren't correct because this has too many sides. It's called Wrestle. Don't really infer anything particular from that name. It's three by five. These shapes are fine. One, two, three, four, five, six, and mirrored. It's this shape in the middle that isn't good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then this becomes a four, which is not good either. And then we end up with two separate negative spaces, which is not what we want either. If this is true, then all of the eyes are happy, which means we can only then fill in these spaces, which seems definitely not correct. But I don't think it's both of these. It could be one of these and not the other. can't be this one left out on its own. So what six-sided shapes can I make? This, this, like any kind of length of B or P. But that's it, I think. 
because this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So a T shape is eight. A U shape is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's L's, P's, D's, and flags. So with that knowledge, we should be able to do something. If there's 15 tiles and we need at least four to make a flag shape, or three, three would do it. Oh, that feels so close. This is good. This is good. This is happy. This is happy. This is happy. I just can't figure out how I would negotiate this top right corner to change something. So I think I want to make just several blanks can't do this because it leaves the one in the corner also has two on this column then we have this awkward z shape in the center Uh, also, the bottom line has four in it, which is definitely no good. All right, I think I can find the solution here. I think we can suss this one out. Where... Can we make a valid shape in the negative space? That's my real question in this kind of center line. This feels valid, except this and this are missing one. This three then becomes a problem. Wait, I had it. Yes. Okay, chevron, chevron, L piece, big thick flag thing. Where does that take me? Oh, well. <laughs> so we can swap these, which there is only one square one. So the square one is going to sit alone because the square wants to be part of a square, whereas everything else wants to be part of a flag. God, right, I'm not gonna try and comprehend that right now. Be interesting if we can get to this badge, but let's come down to here. If we can do the previous one, we can do this one, surely. Jigsaw zero. Well, here's the thing. I know that the hexagons want to exist in flags. This square has to exist alone, so this has to be true. So, then that wants to be true. But I have to divide these somehow. I think, because at the moment we've got a 2x3 section here and a 2x2 section here, but they are 
together as one, and they can't ever be together as one. I think this square in the corner is our starting point. Then these squares want to be part of squares. Now, because of there only being this mechanic present, there should be two solutions, one inverted of the other. So if this is lit, we know for a fact that these must not be lit. Therefore, we know for a fact that these must be lit. Is that true? Is that true? Because there's only so many ways I can set up the squares to be individual squares though strangely that feels like one of them except this and this are connected by the open space which seems no good to me this is a giant chevron shape giant flag like it still has one two three four five six sides How could I make multiple valid shapes out of this? Like the geometry of the level makes it feel like there is no solution, which I'm sure is the intent. And when I find the aha moment that lets me solve it, it's going to be brilliant. But until I get there, I feel very silly. I still feel like this has to be valid. Which means this has to be valid. This feels closer to a valid solution because this is part of a square shape. This is part of a square shape. This is part of a square shape. So now it's just how do I navigate this border between squares and hexagons. These hexagons are happy. These hexagons are happy, but clearly none of the others are. Although these three are. So many interesting borders between what's valid and not, but can we do the squares that way instead? Doesn't feel as clean, does it? Though, yeah, because now we have these touching. That just feels better. Otherwise, what else could be valid? That. But these two are touching, so that doesn't seem great. Jigsaw. Is there going to be like one piece that is slotted into another? It was that simple. Make the chevrons and then divide up what's left. Right, where are we now? One more intermediary puzzle. Zoomed. Okay, this three has to exist in a straight line of some kind. 
Is this this simple? No, it can't be. Because we have this strange shape here. So the six has to exist in a two by three because you can't make a six long piece in a five by five grid. So it has the, the choice of being this, this, or this. Because I don't think it's going to be this when this has to be three and a straight line. Although it would have to be that and then that makes this the wrong shape. So not that. So we're back to the lower possible solutions. That looks great. So I kind of wish these like interim spaces had names or numbers or something. Big shapes one. This is a wacky sequence. Blue subtext indicators showing the size of their numbers group may help out here. Well, feels as valid as before. Four can't be this because of the two. Can't be that because of the two. Can't be this. Well, I assume it has to be that. Which means those are out. And if we're working with maintaining rectangles... Well... This is two, which means those are out. Am I happy with how this four was calculated? Can't be this. Can't be this. Can't be that. It must be this. So these are negative. which means this and this is positive. So either this is true or this is true, which means that's negative. And this is true or this is true or this is true, which means that and that are negative. And we're trying to make square shapes out of everything. If this is negative, this can't be negative because we can't have a chevron shape. So that's positive. This can't be positive because it joins those up. So this must be negative, which means this must be negative, which means this must be positive. So that can't exist as those, which means this has to change. I'm gonna keep those in. So the bottom half is done. So now how do we color the top half? because we can't have any right angles. So this is our next selection change. Well, if we do this, we can't have this exist as a chevron. So it must be that. If this is two, then this must lock those two in so they don't take a corner. This can't join those together. Is this two that really baffles me in the top left corner? Because so far, I feel like my logic makes sense. But then I get to a point where I can't make a two out of either of these. It feels invalid. So where has my logic fallen apart along the way? Is a great question. Because this can't do that because this can't be a corner. I've broken, broken my brain, right. 
back to this four. It's not this. It's not this. It's not that. Therefore, it must be this. So none of these can be highlighted, which means these must be highlighted. But then that means the ones in the opposing corners of them are not highlighted. And this can't exist on a corner, so that must be. It means this and this must be. And that gets us that same bottom half arrangement. Hold on. That seems okay. This looks close. Why doesn't this seem happy? Obviously, it's not a square shape. It's got this little flick of a tail here. Well, if we do... this, then this is a chevron that doesn't work. So I think that must be that way. This doesn't work, and this doesn't work. So it's one more move here of some kind. one tiny bit of arrangement that I've not got right here. Two's happy, four's happy, two's happy, two's happy. It's just these squares where something is wrong. It's not going to be like a three by three square, is it? Because that's touching all kinds of problematic spaces. can't seem to think about where a 3x3 three three might go at all, if it had to. Definitely not a 4x4 four four square. Is there a 3x1? Or a four by one that would be valid. Oh, my God. <sighs> Come on, brain. Not this. Not that. I'm sorry for making you watch me do the same logic for a third time. It's not this. It must be that. Therefore, these are empty. If these are empty, these are positive. If those are positive, then two needs a second. It can't do this because that's a corner. It can't do that because that's a corner. So this must be a two, which means this is empty. And if we want to make this into a rectangle, that has to cut those off. That seems great. I'm very happy with that. It's the top half of the problem that has me stumped. So this too. Can't do that. If it does this, then we have to color that in to cut these two into a domino. So it has to be that. And it's this too. It just breaks things.
I can't, I can't figure it out. And that's annoying because that's getting along towards the end of one of our forks. All right then. Is that where we were? Oh, it does have a name. I just miss it. The Edge. Watcher Clues. All right. Maybe we'll come back to Approach 2 or something next time. For now, thank you ever so much for watching. If you're enjoying the series, please do consider subscribing or hitting that like button. If you have any questions, comments, recommendations, put them down below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.